The Tulsa Public Schools Board of Education is reopening the application process for the District 2 seat. It comes as the anticipated vote over the vacant position remains delayed. To News Oklahoma's Samson Tamajani is live in studio tonight with what happened at the meeting. Samson? Yeah, Naomi, board members decided they'll conduct more interviews for the position. Interested candidates have until noon Wednesday to apply, and they'll start the interviews on Thursday. The board agreed earlier tonight that any decision for appointing a new member would have been premature. But some people at tonight's meeting are upset the process has taken this long. It's crazy. You want to celebrate the wins of our students during Black History Month as they deserve, but the 13% of this district that is Black is being literally left behind. Despite a persisting outcry, Monday's school board meeting resulted in a unanimous agreement that the TPS Board of Education will allow more District 2 residents to apply to fill the open seat. They'll have until Wednesday at noon. The school board says they'll then vote on March 20th after spring break to fill the seat. But constituents, like TPS employee Hannah Fernandez, says they shouldn't have to wait. It's really frustrating and upsetting to see that the school board not to choose not to show up to have these conversations when we as educators are in positions every day where we have to have the hard conversations, we have to have the uncomfortable conversations. And so it's time that the school board shows up and does the work. Fernandez said she'd prefer any good candidate to be appointed to the chair as long as it gives a voice back to District 2 after more than a month of waiting. Our voices are being silenced. Our voices aren't being heard. And we need someone who is going to represent not just one particular group of individuals in our community, but has the best interests of all of us at heart. So far, there are six candidates vying for the position. The vote set for March 20th is four days shy of the state mandated deadline. If there's still a deadlock, a special election would have to take place no earlier than June. Live in studio tonight, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.